Hi everyone. In today's session we're going to be having a look at how we can use the painting tools to fix a frame that may have had some damage occur to it in any of its processes. For example, maybe capturing off tape you have a dropout, perhaps you have some corruption from rendering in CG, or perhaps something went wrong on set and you need to paint out an object or something in the scene. The material that we're using is stop frame animation models and you can see straight away that on the current frame I'm looking at you can see there's a dust particle on the character's nose. In order to work with this what we're going to do is we're going to use the frames around this particular frame that we're working with to be used as the source to fix the area that we need to work with. So some cases when you don't have an absolutely perfect frame you've got to be able to work across time and paint across time in order to repair the problem. In order to do this what we're going to do is if you press escape twice you will now return to the standard desktop and on the desktop controls here we can choose the paint option. In this case set your painting tool to front and back. The front plate is what we'll be painting on and the back plate is the reference or the clonal reveal source. In this case we're going to use the same image to do this task. Now using the cursor you tap on the top left hand corner of the frame once. So the red cursor indicates the front, the green cursor indicates the back and then when you get the white cursor you simply just tap on the desktop and we get launched straight into the painting tool. Inside the tools you will see in the middle of the interface is the paint mode. In the paint mode you can choose to paint, clone or reveal the source that you're working with. So these are the two options we're going to use. In this case what I'd like to do is I'd like to do some cloning. So to remove the stroke I want to clone part of an image on top of the area I'm working with. Now first of all let's go ahead and focus directly on the character's nose. So on the right hand side you have the plus button here to zoom in and if you enable pan you can simply drag the image over to the screen so we can see exactly the area that we'd like to be focusing on. Now you can turn pan off and that means your brush is turned back on. Now when it comes to cloning or revealing the main difference between clone and reveal is when you're working with clone you can clone with an offset. So you can choose one part of an image to clone on top of another area. Reveal simply means you'll be revealing one frame underneath the other. The other thing about cloning and revealing you need to know about is you need to choose what the cloning or revealing source is going to be. So in this case you would choose whether the clone source is going to be the result, the front, the back or the save frame that you could save in the memory buffer. In this case because I loaded up the same image as a back plate we're going to clone from the back. This means when we come to cloning from a different point in time we would simply slip the back plate to maybe start a frame earlier or frame later so that we can then reveal and fix this particular frame we're working with. So now let's have a look at this. So I'm going to go ahead and choose cloning and I'm going to be cloning the back plate onto the front plate which is what we usually paint on. The other thing to point out is I need to be able to see exactly what's going on in the back plate before I choose it as my cloning source. The way we can do this is on the bottom left you've got a showing option. So if I turn show on and we set the option to back you can see currently it doesn't actually show you anything because we're looking at the exact same frame in time. But let's say to fix this character's nose I would like to go ahead and clone let's say from a frame previous. We can come to the slip option here and say for example if I set it to slip one frame backwards you can now see we're getting an onion skinning type of effect. Now just to make sure we can see the most of this frame the one thing that you also have in the paint tool is you have a swipe bar to the left as well as to the right. When you swipe this bar it actually pushes the menu down giving you a more compacted menu and gives you more of the frame to work with. So if we now wanted to see exactly what the frame is you can see that the animation actually does move. There's a very very slight offset between the previous frame and the current frame we're looking at. This is the reason why you use clone is because we can create the offset. Now to choose your cloning offset what you would do is you would hold down the control hotkey on the keyboard and my cursor would change color. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the tip of the character's nose as the reference to do the offset. So if I simply tap once you can see that it creates a little red circle that's the cloning reference and then we can then use the painting tool and you remove your hand off the control key and we click on the tip of the current frame. You can now see how the offset has been created. So if I was to turn the show option on and off you can see how we've now got that offset that we'd like. At any point in time if you just wanted to reset the offset you just hold down the control key once again you can simply click on the region with control and then you click 
on the area you wish to clone to. So that's a simple two-step operation. If you needed to resize the brush when you're painting, you simply hold down the Q hotkey on the keyboard and you click and drag with the cursor so you can see how we can resize the source. Now in order for us to paint on this, you can either paint with the onion skin showing or you can turn the show option off. But now if I was to click and drag, you can see I am now actually cloning one frame on top of another. Now as I said before, this is making sure that the offsetting is perfectly matched up. The one thing that's also worth mentioning here is let's say for example that you've been cloning something or you've been revealing. So let's say for example I'm going to switch from clone mode over to reveal and I simply start painting over here. You can see that it's now revealing the previous frame on top of the existing one and obviously it is slightly different in terms of its animation. Now I've made too much of a repair. I want to actually return this back to its original. So what you can do is you can go ahead and do one of two things. You can either adjust the slip value to set it back to zero, which would be the current frame, or the other way in which you could do it, which is a different way of working, is you can choose to reveal the front plate, and the front plate is the original. So I simply use the paint tool to paint the original back onto itself. It almost acts as an eraser of my brush stroke, but it's just one way of being able to revert any changes that I have made. So hopefully what you've seen here is just a little bit of an example of how you can actually repair your frames, even repair dropout from different points in time using the paint tool.